In this lesson, we'll continue our review of problem solving and data analysis. We're in the official PSAT practice test, section four, calculator permitted, question nine. The scatter plot above shows the widths and the heights of 12 types of rectangular envelopes. What is the width in inches of the envelope represented by the data point that is farthest from the line of best fit? So let's just review a line of best fit really is trend line. It's the line that best represents the data. And if you think about it, it really almost is like the slope of a line. And so you want to just sort of sketch in a line that best represents these points. And so we can see it's upward sloping. And if you just draw it, it would look something like this that best represents the data points, right? And here we have what's called an outlier because it's really it doesn't converge around this this trend line. And the question is asking simply for the width in inches of the envelope that's farthest from the line, right? This one is definitely the farthest away from this trend line, this line of best fit. What's the width? And so you just have to make sure, remember, this here is the height. The height is four, but the question's asking for the width. A lot of times with these data questions, you just have to pay attention to the data or the axes. So the width here is seven, and the answer is C. All right, let's take a look at one more question in this video. It's question 10. A high school basketball team won exactly 65% of the games it played during last season. Which of the following could be the total number of games the team played last season? Again, on the new test, you have a lot of these real life scenarios. And so you could find 65% of all of these numbers and, and some value would exist, but recognizing applied to a real life scenario it has to be an integer. A team can't win a fraction of games. And so one way is you could just take all these values and multiply by 0.65. I, I think a good way to save a little time on the test with these types of questions is know your basic conversions. For example, knowing that 1 eighth is 12.5% or 0.125. And knowing that 1 fifth is 0.2. And also knowing that 1 20th is 0 0.05. And again, it's a little way, way you can save time. So if you look at these, right, here's a 20. And we know that 20 would go into 105 times. Each game would be, would be 5%. And 65% of 20 is really 13. Again, I'm not, you don't have to know this, but it's gonna save you a little bit of time. You could simply just take all of these and multiply, so you could just point 22 times 0.65, you see that's not a real number. 20 times 0.65 is 13. And the question's not even asking for the number of games, it's just saying which of the following could be the total number. The answer is B. All these other ones you can see don't work. 0.65, 18 doesn't work, and 14 <laughs> times 0.65. All right, so the only one that's an integer is B, and the answer is, would be 13 games, but again, it's asking for the total number, and so the answer is B.